it's Brady. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are brand new here, hi, hello, welcome. We are so glad that you are here. We are a family of four. It is myself, my husband, and our seven and three-year-old girls, plus a crazy dog. And, you know, my husband works crazy hours. And, you know, I just wrapped up school. The girls just wrapped up school, but life is still fairly busy. And so you're gonna see a lot of convenience items in these hauls right now um, but that's generally what we share with you is grocery hauls meal planning what's for dinner videos and um, you know some daily life stuff as well so if that's your kind of thing I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and stick around if you're brand new here please say hello in the comments down below um, or if you've been here a while and just never introduced yourself please introduce yourself in the comments down below I love talking to y'all and finding out where you're from and and what you know your your life is like I love talking to y'all down below so um let's get into the grocery haul but first actually I wanted to kind of tell y'all so if you saw my community tab post that went up yesterday when we would normally have a grocery haul it kind of let y'all know um my stepdad had surgery so I went to the grocery store still yesterday but honestly I just didn't have the mental capacity to <laughs> To do this so um i'll kind of share more details later but basically um he did have surgery but it was kind of an emergent thing so we got the call like in the middle of the night i was getting ready for bed sunday night and i just had to go so um we didn't eat through most of our produce um honestly we did a lot of eating out and that's just what happens when things go crazy um but yes so I was out of even the state for most of the week and things were just all over the place. So this haul has a lot of convenient stuff because we are going to be going back and forth with my parents and helping out and doing things. Plus, um, I just wanted to stock up on some mega event sale items. So there's a lot of that here. I think all in all, I'm going to put the exact total up on the screen or it'll be on the thumbnail. Um, and you're going to see some stuff that we already opened too, but that's a whole nother thing. Anyways, I think we spent right at $200. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Okay. I had planned to do a smaller haul, but all that to say there were some really good deals. Plus I wanted some convenient stuff with how busy and all over the place we're going to be. So all of this is from Kroger, about $200. Some things are opened obviously because we started using them yesterday after I went to the store. And I think there's some Skittles and some M&Ms that are missing. But other than that, it should be on the table. Okay. Um, eggs were $1.19 a dozen. So I got one dozen. The pint of blueberries were three for five. So it was $1.67 for a pint of blueberries. So I did get that. Got another head of green leaf lettuce. And I believe it was $1.79. Baby Swiss, the Sargento brand was $2.50, but I had a dollar off one e-coupon. So that made that $1.50. And then this was $2.29 for the Kroger Break and Bake Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough. $1.49 for the Texas Toast Garlic Three Cheese Blend. Um, so I don't know. It was a really good price. It was on sale at Kroger. So I got it to stock up the freezer um, if we make, you know, spaghetti or something easy for dinner one night this week or next. And then the Hot Pockets were not on sale. They were their normal $2 price. But I went on ahead and picked up a few packs again just for convenience stuff so we got a ham and cheddar and two pepperoni pizza then i got one of the sausage egg and cheese croissant two packs this was 249 as well three 12 packs of pepsi they were three for 11. we did get two gallons of milo's tea but i only put one on the table because we'd already opened the other one and it was they were 2.99 for each gallon 2.69 for a gallon of milk a dollar 99 after the mega event savings, um, where you save a dollar if you buy six or more participating items. And so that was $1.99 after that. The Lunchables were not on sale. They were $1.89 each, but I did have an 80 cent off two e-coupon on my Kroger card. So it made them $1.49 each. And my daughter has been really asking for some Lunchables lately. So we did pick up two. Um, what else? The Nathan's hot dogs were on sale with a digital coupon for $2.99 a pack. So that's a really good price for the all beef, skinless beef hot dogs. So I got those and 
I only picked up one, but I think the limit on the coupon was five. I did get a pound of Boar's Head Pepper Mill Smoked Turkey, and it was a little over a pound for $9.58. $1.98 for the whipped cream cheese spread. This is the eight ounce container. Um, flaky Jumbo Biscuits were $1.39. They finally had those. And then, uh, let's see. This was $3.99 for the 4.5 ounce shaved Parmesan cheese for salads. Carrot chips, one pound bag was $1.59. The eight ounce bags of cheese from the Kroger brand were $1.88, so I picked up two shredded sharp cheddar. We got a bag of leafy romaine salad mix for easy salads, that was $2.79, and then $1.39 for some shredded iceberg lettuce for tacos. $5.49 for the Tyson chicken patties, again, for easy lunches or dinners, whatever that we need. And then we got some, uh, the 36 count original yeast dinner roll dough, the frozen dough balls. These are like the Rhodes rolls. Um, it was 250 for the 36 count from the Kroger brand. So I got that. And 350 for the five count of the frozen bread dough loaves. So obviously we will not use all of that this week, but I wanted to put some in the freezer. Uh, three cases of water, the 32 count Kroger purified drinking water. The 32 counts were $1.99 after the dollar mega event savings. The Fruit Loops, I wanted the Fruit Loops with marshmallows, they had none. So she got regular Fruit Loops. They were on sale for $1.49 and then I had a dollar off one coupon from the Kellogg's Family Rewards thing um, where you scan your receipts and then earn points and then you can redeem them for high value coupons. So that box of Fruit Loops was um, only 49 cents. If you hear the girls in the background, I apologize. And if you hear the laundry going, it's crazy around here, okay. $2.99 for the family size Cheez-Its as part of that mega event as well. So I did get two boxes um, to make Crispix mix or just snacking on. So two family size boxes will last us quite a while. And then two boxes of sociables, one box of chicken and a biscuit crackers. If you bought three or more Nabisco products or even or Oreos, yeah, because they're Nabisco as well. Nabisco cookies or crackers, they were $1.88 each if you bought three or more. So I got Two sociables, one chicken and a biscuit, and one package of the double stuffed Oreos. 99 cents is part of the mega event, this suddenly salad ranch and bacon pasta salad. That'll probably be for next week, um, or for the weekend for 4th of July. And then these were like 79 cents each, or 89 cents for the Martha White muffin mixes. So I thought this would be easy to whip up with some scrambled eggs for breakfast with some fruit maybe. So we got cinnamon sugar, chocolate chip, a lemon poppy seed, and a blueberry. And two of these are missing because the girls have already broken into these as well yesterday. But these are 50 cents each for these little tummy yummy juice drink things. Um, the girls really like these and it's summer and we're busy. So I went on ahead and treated them to it. Um, we are still gonna try to do some of our stuff, fun stuff we had planned for the next two weeks, despite the craziness going on so this all that to say that this will be helpful if we can so anyways I got I think I got 10 total but they already got into two so they were five dollars for all 10 of them and I just got various flavors 339 which is ridiculous but it is what it is for this easy cheese for the crackers and a dollar fifty for the Kroger peanut butter I got four of the Vienna sausages for my husband. They were 63 cents each for the Armor brand. I think these donuts, they looked fun. So, you know, mama was gone all week and I wanted to get them a treat. So anyways, I got the 4th of July sprinkled um, donuts at Kroger. And they are the Krispy Kreme brand, so they were more expensive. I think they were $6.99 or $7.99 for six. $1.99 each as part of the mega event were the Kraft Deluxe Mac and Cheese. So I did get two of those um, for 4th of July. Four cold fish. They were 99 cents each as part of the mega event. Mega event as well. The Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce was 99 cents each. So I got two of those. Um, this looked fun and they sounded good to me because I was shopping and I was hungry. Um, the Rice Krispie Treats. Eight count was $1.49. We got a bag of the Kroger 
sweet mesquite barbecue chips for a dollar. $2.99 for the taqueria style corn tortilla chips, the private selection. Those are really, really good. And then y'all know, y'all noticed in the last grocery haul that I didn't buy Doritos. And believe me, while I was out of town, my family definitely noticed that we did not have any Doritos. <laughs> so lucky for them, they were on sale this week. So I did pick up some Doritos. So we got, if you bought three or more, they were $1.88 each. So I got two plain Doritos like nacho cheese and one of the Cool Ranch. $1.49 is part of the mega event as well. The Sara Lee sandwich white bread. The Wonder Hamburger Buns. This is actually for the chicken patties. Um, this is $1.49 as well. And I believe on Ibotta, there is 25 cents off of Wonder Plain Hamburger Buns. $2.69 for some Kaiser Rolls from the bakery to go with the Swiss and turkey for sandwiches. Um, $1.99 a pound for the Heritage Farm chicken breast. I got two family packs. They were each just under five pounds. So about eight or nine dollars per pack. I got six packs of the private selection, 80, 20 ground chuck because it was 3.49 a pound. And I think only had one pack left in the freezer. So this should get us through until we go to Sam's Club in about three or four weeks. And then I got two hint water for myself, the pineapple, they were a dollar each. You can see we broke into the Kool-Aid as well, but I got three Kool-Aid jammers, the grape flavor. My store has been totally out of the Kool-Aid, the special edition summer one. So I just got grape, the girls are happy with that. $1.79 each, got some Purex laundry detergent. $7.49, there is a dollar back on Ibotta. There might even be a dollar back on the Kroger cash back thing you can hook to your account. So anyways, I'll redeem the receipt or I'll submit the receipt to Ibotta for a dollar back. If you've never tried Ibotta, there's lots and lots of different things, plus some any items and stuff like that. And so you only need $20 to cash out. I do have a coupon code down below um, that you, or it's either a code or a link, but it's, it's down in the description box. You can click on that or enter that password or whatever it is, the code. Um, and you'll get an additional $10 rebate when you redeem your first rebate. So it could be anything at all and you'll get an extra $10. Um, and you only need 20 to cash out. So it gets you halfway there. And you can cash out to PayPal, I believe, your bank account, like a direct deposit and um, many, many gift cards. So check that out down below. And I did get a, another bottle of this Barefoot Peach Moscato wine for $6.99 and some sweet tarts for myself. I think those were 99 cents. So that is everything. Thank y'all so much for being patient with today's haul going up a day late and just for your well wishes and for being here. And until next time, I will see you in the comments down below until our next video. Bye-bye.